Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. We been through a lot. Lord's willing, I'm getting my spot in the kingdom. We winning, no sinning, we not. I'm sending no praise to the man that's up top. Hey. Hey. Yeah. I just been thanking my God. 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 We been through a lot. Lord's willing, I'm getting my spot in the kingdom. We winning, no sinning, we not. I'm sending no praise to the man that's up top. Hey. Yeah, I just been thinking my God, yeah. 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 Why do the heathen rage? Cause we the anointed and I just been praying like every day. I need to meditate. And what is important for me to survive in a daughter race? Why everybody vain? They want us up in that cage. I feel like sending lame. I'm about to bring a change. Christ coming back, they gon' swim in flames. And I got this heat fall to my chest. Is that the name of Israel would no more be in your remembrance. So what did they do? When they colonized them, they said, let's call this entire group of Israelites Nigeria. We are making you understand that the oppression we are passing through as a people was put on us by God. The creator of heaven and earth is putting us through these conditions. He is still allowing the other nations to enslave us and to punish us. Because what? Deuteronomy 28 14. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in anger. For food, we have to rely on our enemies. Enter all your shops today. Enter all your supermarkets today. Majority of the food you see there is being given to you by the same people that put your forefathers in slavery, by the same people that are eating up your resources. Those are the same people that are giving you food to eat. All that is because we are fulfilling the prophecy that the Messiah told us that we will serve our enemies with food. Those people hate you, they do not like you. They are eating your resources to this day and you expect them to give you the correct thing to eat. They are killing you. All that is fulfillment of prophecy. You in hunger and in thirst. And in thirst. Our forefathers never drank bottled water. Our forefathers never drank water that was put inside the bottle by someone somewhere else. Water is a natural gift from God. But guess what? Today we are buying water from Coca-Cola, from Messi. Who owns all these companies? Your enemies. The same people that put your forefathers in slavery are selling you water to drink. They are selling you things, put inside bottles to drink. And you think those things will give you life? All those things were put in place to destroy you gradually. You know. And in nakedness. And in nakedness. All the clothes we are wearing today, including myself, we are wearing clothes manufactured by our enemies. Meaning that for you to put something on your cloth, you have to put your money into the enemy's pocket. That is not freedom, that is oppression. We are here to show you today that we are passing through these conditions because we are breaking the laws of God. We are supposed to be the greatest nation of people on this earth. The Messiah God put us here to rule the other nations. But we are not doing that today. Rather, reverse is the case. My brother, my brother, in period, are you ruling the other nations? My brother, are you ruling the other nations? But are the other nations ruling us? Okay, let me show you what we are destined to do. Go to the Deuteronomy 7 and 6. The Messiah God, listen, listen, listen. Even if you do not agree with what we are saying, I want to give you an assignment today. In this holy book, there is a nation of people that something was spoken about. Let's see what that what the what the Bible God said about a particular people that is supposed to be on this earth. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Says God chose a particular nation of people on this earth. What did He choose them for? You know, to be a special people. There is a special people on this earth. If you don't know, 
all nations, all people are not the same. There is a particular nation of people that God chose to be special to himself. He above all people that are upon the face. No, the same with everybody. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So, if you read this, my brother, and you know that there is a particular nation of people that is supposed to be above all nations of people on this earth, you know what to know which and which nation is. Everybody with common sense will want to know who are the chosen people of God on this earth that are destined to be above all nations. I want to know because I want to know what my role is on this earth. Am I supposed to be ruling or am I supposed to be serving? But guess what? Oppression has made us not to think at that level. The quest for daily bread has made us not to think about these things. We are so focused on making a daily bread that we cannot even sit down to consider that in a book that was written thousands of years ago, it was recorded that there is a chosen people of God that is supposed to be above all nations. But guess what? Today is your day. You are here to show you that you are those people. The so-called Yoruba man, the so-called Igbo man, the so-called Nigerian man, you are the chosen people of God. You are supposed to be the greatest nation of people on this earth. But guess what? You are falling from glory. And now you are, you are considered less than animals by our enemies. Our, the white man cherishes his dog more than the black man. And you trust that man to give you food? You trust that man to give you education? You trust that man to give you religion? A man that considers you less than a human being? You trust him to show you the way to eternal life? Do you know what? This is what he gave you. Where is it to help you? This is what the white man gave you. After he came here and loved you and loved and loved and murdered your forefathers, he gave you the final thing to brainwash you. He told you that the Creator, the Son of God, is a white man. He painted you to look like his fathers. Come here, my brother, let's take. My brother, come, we are your brothers. Let's reason. Let us reason. Let's reason common sense. Eh? The same man that put our forefathers in slavery. If you go to Badabri today, there's somewhere called the point of no return. Do you know what happened there? The white man came here, packed your forefathers as slaves, and took them to serve in their land. And you trust this same man to give me religion. Guess what? The Arab man did the same thing too. Before the white man came, there was something called the Trans Sahara slave trade. The Arab man did the same thing to your forefathers. And you expect him to give you the correct way to Christ? That is why we are here today to show you the truth. And guess what? The truth is not our feelings. Give me Psalm 119. What the truth is? We are not showing you our feelings. We are not showing you our thinking. We are telling you what the truth is according to the Messiah God. There is a truth that we are disconnected from and that has kept us in this condition as a people. We, the page of Psalms 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. The righteousness is supposed to give us everlasting life. There is a way to follow to give us everlasting life. Everlasting life ruling the other nations because this was being spoken to the children of Israel. Everlasting life on top. Paradise, heaven. That is what it is, rulership. Being above all other nations and having them serve you. That is paradise, that is heaven according to the Bible. Everlasting life only turns when you follow the blueprint, the righteousness of God. We, thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. What? And thy law is the truth. The truth that we have disconnected from is the laws of God. We are not supposed to hate one another. We are not supposed to defraud one another. Yet on this whole earth today, we are repeated as the biggest rock stars. And you think that we will progress like that? And you think that we will rule in that, in that mindset? 
She says, dress modestly, women, stop putting up, stop wearing what pertains to a man. Men, stop cross-dressing. Stop looking at women, stop being a feminist. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Stop eating on clean things. Love your neighbor as yourself. These are the things that we are not doing that has caused the Most High to abandon us. In case you don't know, people, the Most High God, creator of heaven and earth, in case you have been sleeping, let me wake you up today. He has abandoned us as a people. And he said it in the Bible. He said he will leave us to suffer and when our suffering has made us to have our common sense, then he will come back to us. Go ahead, it's all time to see. Let me show you from the Bible. We are not just making things up. The most, sister, sister, let's talk to you. Come. The most high God has abandoned us as a people. And he said he will abandon us and allow our enemies to punish us till we wake up and realize that we are offending him. That's common sense, right? Listen to this. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. I will go and return to my place. God said he will go and return to his place. He has returned and he has left his chosen people. Till what happens? Till they acknowledge their offense. We must first of all acknowledge and realize that we are offending God. And how are we offending God? We are breaking the law, statutes and commandments he gave us. We are abusing the privilege he gave to us to be his chosen people. To be his ambassadors on this earth, we are abusing that privilege. God gave us the seat of power on this earth and he spat on it. He said, no, you want to be like the other people. Our sisters, they want to blonde their hair and look like the white woman. Our brothers and sisters, they want to bleach their skin to look like the white woman. They want to look like the oppressor. Eh? Our people want to follow the ways of the oppressor. They want to follow Christmas. The Valentine's Day. Today, we are even following Halloween. Foolishness that we do not understand the origin. Yet, the laws that God gave us in this Bible as His chosen people, we have abandoned it. And God said, What? Read it again. I will go and return to my place. He said, Because of that, I will leave you and return to my place. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. But first of all, acknowledge that you have messed up and begin to seek God's face. And how do you seek God's face? Is by keeping His law, statutes, and commandments. That righteousness that is everlasting, that way to eternal life, we must go back to it. If not, we are just beginning. The suffering has just started. You know, in their affliction. Is that in our what? In their affliction. You know what affliction is? Suffering. Pain. That's why we need you to suffer and pass through pain under the hands of your enemies. Are you not passing through that pain today? Is it when you pass through that pain, when you are afflicted, eh? then you, your, your brain will reset? Because I've, yes, because I've given you the privilege, I've shown you the way of life, and you have abandoned it. You know, in their affliction, they will seek me early. It says, in our affliction, we will see God early. Nation is men leading by example. Is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord!